Hi there, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. We're going to be looking here at multiplying matrices, vectors in R. Now there are two types of multiplication. The element-wise multiplication, otherwise known as the Hadamard product, and then the more conventional type of matrix multiplication. So let's look at uh, let's review first before these concepts before we go into R. Got two matrices here, both of which are two by two. Standing for two rows, two columns. Now with the usual type of matrix multiplication, we can multiply two matrices so long as the inner two numbers match. Here it has A has if we do A times B we have a two by two times a two by two and that will work because the two numbers match and the resulting matrices will have dimension of two rows and two columns. So we'll take the two outer numbers to get the product. And what we're going to get is 1 times 0 plus 3 times 2 up here, 6. 1 times 3 plus 3 times 1, that's 6. 2 times 0 plus 0 times 2, 0. 2 times 3 plus 0 times 1, 6. Now in R we can do it as follows. We define a matrix A, which is filled by column. I define the matrix B, and for revision I've shown you how I can fill it by row instead of by columns. And then I multiply them. Now the symbol to multiply these matrices is this percentage sign times and percent again. Okay, next let's look at multiplication of a matrix with a vector. So I've got here a vector here of a row vector, one by two, one row, two columns. Let's do a times x. a is two by two, x is one by two. So can I multiply the two together? No, because the two inner numbers do not match. Can I multiply a times x transpose together? Well, a is 2 by 2. If you're transposing this vector or matrix, you're simply swapping the rows and columns. So here it becomes 2 by 1. Now two numbers do match, and the result we should get is something which is a vector of dimension 2 rows by 1 column. Okay, so here I've created this is the standard way to create a, a vector type x, look at it, 1, 1. Now when I first started studying, I look at this and I say, well, you know, from linear algebra we make a distinction between row and column vector. What is this? Is this a row vector or column vector? I couldn't really find any answers in textbooks. So, but if we go transpose t x or transpose x, it looks like this. This is now row vector, which tells us that this thing is a column vector. Okay, so let's do x times a. Now, by rights, this is a, if this is a row, if this is a column vector, that's the matrix, then we've seen that this shouldn't work because x is 2 by 1, and that's 2 by 2. But watch, it does work. Moreover, how about if we take the transpose of x and do this multiplication? Oops. It works and it gives us the same answer. So what does it tell us about this operator? It tells us about this operator is that when you multiply a vector by a matrix, well, then it interprets the vector in such a way that if they're conformable, either the two inner number, something like this, two numbers match, 
gets it the right way around so that you can multiply it through. So if we're doing it the reverse, it interprets it like this so that you can actually multiply it rather than like this. In other words, in this case it would treat um, x transpose as a 2 by 1 and x as a 1 by 2. And that operator works like this if you're multiplying a vector by a matrix. But what happens if you try to multiply two non-conformable matrices? Let's now create this one by one uh, column vector again, but you but setting up as a matrix. Okay, so if I look at Y, that is a column vector. X was like that, wasn't it? So that's also one by that's a that's a um, column uh, vector. Now, if we do try doing the same thing, but with y multiplying y with x, a sorry. Okay, so what we've got here is y is a two by one, and a is two by two. Now, will it interpret y in such a way like x so that they're conformable? No, you get an error. How about if I 